is Laura from Harassed Mum. It's been a while since I've made a video. Um, those of you as kids who've been on holiday will know that it's a bit tough to get anything done while your kids are around, but everyone's back at school. So, um, and also, um, I spent a lot of time thinking about what I wanted to do in this space, in the YouTube video space. Um, I'm not a beauty blogger. I don't want to blog about beauty products. Um, I don't want to do unboxings. Um, it's not really my thing. Um, so I kind of figured that I'm just going to share with you guys what's on my mind at the time. If I have something, then I'm going to share it with you. Because um, sometimes it's better to share something um, through a video than to try and write it out in words. Um, and today's post that I have up um, by Janelle from Tyranny of Pink, um, it's one of those posts that um, obviously she's written it already, so I don't really want to write another one about it, but I have some thoughts on it um, that I thought I'd just share with you guys today because it's such an important topic and it's such an important post um, and I'm so glad that she agreed to write it for me at Harassed Mom. Um, so if you haven't read the post yet, it's basically about self-love and learning to love yourself, um, which I think is super relevant, especially for women um, and especially, more especially, for moms. Um, you know, when you have a kid, you kind of get so focused on your kid um, and stuff for your kid and then you possibly have another kid and then you get focused on that kid and before you know it, all you're doing is either working and being a mom or you're just being a mom full time and you forget about yourself. You forget about um, how important you are and how important that relationship is that you have with yourself. So I just wanted to share a few of my thoughts on that. Um, and part of the reason that I haven't done videos before um, and what's put me off is because I don't like looking at myself. Um, I don't like sitting here for five minutes or whatever um, and looking at myself. I, it makes me extremely uncomfortable. Um, but I'm trying to change the internal conversation that I have with myself to get over that and to realize that there's actually nothing wrong with looking at myself. There's nothing wrong with the way that I look. Um, so yeah, so here we are making these videos. Um, and it's one of the things Janelle talks about, about the inner dialogue and the things that we tell ourselves, like I'm not pretty enough to make a video or I'm not, um, good enough or no one's going to want to watch or no one's going to want to look at me or, you know, those kind of things that I was telling myself, um, that are negative um, and there's no reason why I can't share a video, share my thoughts, um, you know, so I think it's, you know, one of the things that I think she mentions in her post is, is changing what you tell yourself, change, stop telling yourself those negative things. Um, I'm working with a business coach for my business, which has been amazing. Um, and she's really pushed me out of my comfort zone um, in terms of sort of facing the things that I never thought that I could do. Not because I couldn't, but because I was telling myself that I couldn't do them. Um, so, you know, I, I mentioned it on my work page, but one of the things she's encouraging me to do is to do networking, um, which is basically getting in front of other business women and business people and putting myself out there as a business woman. And I never thought of myself as a business woman. I don't, I, I still struggle with it a little bit. I still struggle to um, believe that people want to hear my opinion on business, that they want to work with me. Um, and it's not because I can't do it. Um, I have I have belief that I can do it. It's just my internal dialogue keeps telling me that I'm not good enough. But um, I've attended a few of these networking events and the other day I had a potential client contact me and um, she looked at everything that I did and she said to me, the way that you come across is so professional and I want to work with you. Um, I love the look of your business and, um, and I love the way that you present yourself. And it was such an amazing thing to have this feedback from this client. And I've just come from another meeting now where um, 
it's not really a, a client meeting, but it was just someone I met through networking and she's referring business to me and she basically said the same thing. She was like, you come across so confident and speak about your business in such a way that I want to work with you and I'm happy and I'm happy to refer people to you. Um, which was an affirmation for me because I struggle with that. And so by actually I'm perceiving myself in a very different way than what other people are perceiving me. Um, so there is no reason for me to have those internal dialogues and keep telling myself I'm not good enough, I'm not worthy, because actually I am. And here are these two people who don't really know me, um, who want to do business with me. Um, and I mean, it doesn't just, it's not just on a business level, it's on, on every level. You know, we're so quick to tell ourselves um, that we're not good enough and and all of those things. And another thing that happened on the weekend was, um, it was my birthday, and David bought me a pair of red Converse, stunning, stunning, stunning red Converse. Um, but I don't, I don't wear red. Um, I don't have anything that is red. I have a few black tops that I could potentially wear with it. Anyway, long story short, I decided I'm going to go and change them for a more neutral color that I can actually wear. So I'm explaining to the lady at Edgar's and we're chatting. And so she says to me, why don't you just rather go and buy yourself a red top and see what it looks like? And I was like, no, let's just swap them. And then afterwards, I was like, what was holding me back? from actually just going out and buying the red top. Um, it was just me in my comfort zone. I look good in the colors that I have. So why try something new? Because it's not going to work. It's not going to look good. Um, and then I tried the shoes on before I took them back. And they were freaking amazing. Um, so I do have a little bit of regret of not just keeping the shoes, taking them. And um, yeah. Anyway, so guys, it's turning into a bit of a long video, um, but I just wanted to say to you, maybe every morning, like do that little in the mirror, high five, I'm awesome, I'm good enough, I'm pretty enough, um, you know, all those, all those negative things that you say to yourself every day, every time you say them, try and say two things that are positive, I promise you you'll find them and it will change the way that you look at yourself and it will change the way that people look at you. Um, so yeah, so that's my thoughts today on self-love. Go and love yourself. And if you haven't read the blog post, go and read it, www.harassmom.co.za and share it with all your women friends because all women everywhere need to read it and learn how to love themselves. Um, yeah, so until next time, guys, when I share with you my words of wisdom because I am worthy.